in errors we have done different types of errors like systematic errors random error mean absolute error percentage error and relative error now we are going to do propagation or combination of errors this means when we perform mathematical operations like addition subtraction division and multiplication how do we calculate error in the different cases so now let us take first one error in sum that means an addition suppose you have got two quantities a and b whose measurements are a and b error is in a is this is delta a and error in b possible error in b is delta b so when you add these two quantities x is equal to a plus b so if there are errors that also will be added so according to that x plus minus delta x if there is error in suppose plus minus delta a here plus minus delta b it means there will be error in also x that is written x plus minus delta x is equal to a plus minus delta a plus b plus minus delta b now we can write x plus minus delta x is equal to a plus b plus minus delta a plus minus delta b so this is x and this is also equal to x so we can this remove from here we will be getting plus minus delta x is equal to plus minus delta a plus minus delta b so see here there are four possible values of the error first possible value we can write delta a plus delta b or we can write minus delta a minus delta b or we can write plus delta a minus delta b or we can write minus delta a plus delta b there are four possible values here first is this second is this third is this fourth is this but see here while calculating error we take maximum possible error so the maximum possible error will be delta x is equal to plus minus delta a plus delta b so this is the maximum possible error in addition of the two quantities now see in addition and subtraction same method is followed and same thing is here so in addition and subtraction in both the cases maximum possible error is this so we can write error in sum or in subtraction so in both the cases error is this one now see this example is uh, that is error in subtraction here we have got initial temperature is this we can write initial temperature theta i is equal to 40.6 plus minus 0.2 degree celsius final temperature this is theta f is equal to 78.3 plus minus 0.3 degree celsius now we have to calculate the rise in temperature with the proper error limits so see here rise in temperature is equal to theta is equal to theta f minus theta i so first we will take this value true values that is here 78.3 minus 40.6 is equal to 37.7 degree celsius this is we have calculated now the true value that is rise in temperature now we have to take these two parts that is a error parts maximum possible errors so for that in subtraction we know it delta x is equal to plus minus delta a plus delta b so here also we can write delta theta is equal to plus minus theta delta theta i plus delta theta f that is equal to plus minus 0.2 plus 0.3 that is is equal to plus minus 0.5 degree celsius so this is the maximum possible error and this is the true value so the result will be here you can write the rise in temperature rise in temperature is equal to this one 37.7 plus minus 0.5 degree celsius so this is the answer for this 
in this example R1 is equal to 100.0 plus minus 0.3, R2 is equal to 150.0 plus minus 0.5. These two resistances are connected in series, calculate the combined resistance. You know here when the resistances are connected in series, R is equal to R1 plus R2. So, first we can calculate R, R is equal to 100.0 plus 150.0 that is 250 0.0 ohm. This we have added this and this. Now, we have to solve errors. So, that can be here this delta R is equal to plus minus delta R 1 plus delta R 2 that is plus minus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.8 ohm. So, the total resistance total resistance is equal to 250.0 plus minus 0 0.8 ohm. So, now see here whether we are taking subtraction or addition in both the cases errors are added. Now, we will do error in multiplication. So, see here in this case error in multiplication suppose you have got two physical quantities A and B and they are multiplied. So, we can write A into B. Suppose, absolute error in A is delta A and in B is delta B, then there will be also absolute error in the measure in the product x. So, we can write x plus minus delta x is equal to A plus minus delta A into B plus minus delta B. If you multiply these, you will be getting x plus minus delta x is equal to A B plus minus A delta B plus minus B delta A plus minus here we can write delta A dot delta B. Now, here if you divide whole thing by the x, so dividing by x is equal to A B both the sides, we will be getting 1 plus minus delta x upon x is equal to 1 plus minus delta B upon B plus minus delta A upon A and this quantity is very small because delta A into delta B is very small quantity. So, this can be ignored. So, it is actually negligible. So, we have ignored we have got this. So, you will be getting plus minus delta X upon X is equal to plus minus delta A upon A plus minus delta B upon B. So, see here again there are 4 possible values plus delta A upon A plus delta B upon B plus delta A upon A minus delta B upon B minus delta A upon A plus delta B upon B minus delta A upon A minus delta B upon B. But we have to take maximum possible error. So, the maximum possible error is equal to here plus minus delta x upon x is equal to plus minus delta a upon a plus delta b upon b. So, this is the maximum possible error. Now, see here. So, in the maximum possible error is this, this is actually the relative error. So, the maximum possible relative error in the product is this much. Let us take example related to this. Now, see example this is related to error in products or multiplication. Length of rectangle is given to you L is equal to 5.7 plus minus 0.1 centimeter. Breadth of rectangle B is equal to 3.4 plus minus 0.2. Calculate the area with the error limits. You know area is equal to L into B. So, you can write area is equal to 5.7 into 3.4 is equal to 19.38 centimeter square. If you round off it that will become 19.0 centimeter square. So, this is the area. Now, you have to calculate the value of delta A. So, you can write delta A upon A is equal to plus minus delta L upon L plus plus delta B upon B. That means, absolute error in length upon L plus absolute error in B divided by B. 
that is here plus minus if you solve it in L that is here delta L is this is 0 0.1. So, 0 0.1 divided by 5.7 plus 0 0.2 divided by 3.4. On solving this you will be getting plus minus 1.48 divided by 19.38 if you have to get delta A, so the delta A is equal to that is absolute error in the total product. It is here plus minus 1.48 divided by 19.38 multiplied by 19.38 because A is also this much. So, this cancel you will be getting 1.48 is equal to 1.5 plus minus. So, this is plus minus here. This is absolute error in this one. So, now the result that area can be written that is equal to here 19.0 plus minus 1.5 centimeter square. So, this is the area with the error limit. Now, see we have done error in addition, subtraction and in multiplication. Now, we will do error in division. Suppose you have got two quantities A and B and divided that is written x is equal to A plus A upon B. Suppose there is absolute error in A is delta A and absolute error in B is delta B. So, you can also write here x plus minus delta x is equal to A plus minus delta A divided by B plus minus delta B. But when you solve it, you will be getting the same answer which is in the product that is delta x and is absolute error in x total measurement divided by x is equal to plus minus absolute error in a plus absolute error in b divided by b. So, this is the same formula which was in product. So, whatever is here the relative error here that is the sum of the relative error in the e measurement of the each quantities. Now, let us do example related to division. So, now see you are given potential difference V is equal to 100 plus minus 5 volt, current 10 plus minus 0 0.2 ampere. You have to find the percentage error in resistance. You know R is equal to V upon I. So, we can calculate 10 upon 10, 100 upon 10 is equal to that is 10 ohm. This is resistance. Now, we can calculate a relative error that is absolute error in R divided by R is equal to absolute error in V plus absolute error in I this here. You can get plus minus 5 divided by 100 plus 0 0.2 divided by 10. When you solve it, you will be getting plus minus 7 upon 100. But we have to get percentage error. So, we just multiply by 100 is equal to plus minus 7 by 100 into 100 is equal to plus minus 7 percent. So, this is the relative of percentage error. Now, you have to write the result. So, result will be here the total resistance in this case is 10 plus minus 7 percent this is the result. Now, see a error in case of a measured quantity raised to power. Suppose, you have taken x is equal to a raised to power n that is similar to the product. So, the maximum relative error you can write here absolute error in x that is this one relative error plus minus n absolute error in a divided by a. So, this is uh, maximum fractional or the relative error in case when the in case of the power. Now, say in this question x is a physical quantity which is measured by this formula x is equal to a cube b square upon under root of c d where a b c are measured respectively with an error of 1 percent, 3 percent, 4 percent and 2 percent. So, you have to find out the percentage error in the physical quantity x. So, you can easily write here, here 
absolute that is fractional error in x is equal to plus minus thrice of this delta a upon a plus twice of delta b upon b plus raised to power uh, 1 by 2. So, you can write here 1 by 2 delta c upon c plus 1 by 2 delta d upon d. Now, you can write here if you have to get the percentage just to multiply by 100. So, you will be getting here delta x by x here multiplied by 100 is equal to plus minus 3 into this is the a by a multiplied by 100 plus twice of delta b by b multiplied by 100 plus 1 by 2 delta c by c multiplied by 100 plus 1 by 2 delta d upon d multiplied by 100. Now, everything is given to this quantity given, this given, this given and this given. So, you can write plus minus 3 into 1 plus 2 into 3 plus 4 1 by 2 into 4 plus 1 by 2 into 2. So, that will be here plus minus 3 plus 6 that is 9 plus 2 11 plus 1. So, plus minus 12 percent. So, this is the answer here, but this question has both you know power multiplication division everything is here. Now, see these are the two points first one is accuracy second one is precision. See what do you mean by accuracy and what do you mean by precision? You know accuracy means your measured value is suppose very close to the true value then your measurement is very accurate and precision basically is determined by the least count of the instrument. If you are using the instrument which has got the least count like uh, two values I am taking if you are using vernier calipers it has got the least count 0 0.101 centimeter and if you have got a screw gauge it is here 0 0.01 centimeter. So, this is measured by vernier calipers and this is measured by a screw gauge, a screw gauge. So, see here this is more precise. So, precision basically determined by the least count. So, see here the accuracy of a measurement is a measure of measure of how close the measured value is to the true value of the quantity. Whereas, precision it tells us to what resolution or limit the quantity is measured by the instrument. 